How's it going guys, Boy Milton Agent here, got another product review and unboxing for you from thank you for the guys over at Sun Vision for sending this over. This is the Tora WX uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth streaming uh, speaker as well. So it's multi-room and you can use the Muso Player app on the App Store from uh, you know on Google Play or your Apple App Store to control it um, in, if in, if in different rooms. So you can have actually more than one of these. They sent me two over to give you um, I look at how both of them work together because you can have it in stereo or multi-room mode so you can have one speaker upstairs maybe one speaker downstairs and maybe use it as like a Sonos speaker you know throughout the house play, play your music throughout the whole house or have it both set up next to each other as like a, um, a stereo speaker system which is great for parties and stuff like that it uses uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi and Spotify apps and all that kind of stuff so we're going to give you a quick unboxing a quick review have a look at the app as well and see what we got Alright guys, so here's the actual front of the box here, so if you are picking up in store or maybe you've got, got it on Amazon, um, it's got the Sun Vision Stream, Tora WX, tells you the Wi-Fi Bluetooth tower speaker, and it's got the multi retrieve in there. It tells you some basic uses, so you've got tuning radio, Spotify, internet radio and more kind of services you've got on the front there. On the side there it also says um, what kind of uh, modes you can use it in, so we've got the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi modes, so you've got best of both worlds, you can use it using the Muso Player app, like I said I mentioned before, and you've also got the stereo mode there, so you can have two speakers if you bought them separately put them next to each other you've got a stereo hi-fi speaker there as well um, on the back there tells you a little bit more about what you can um, do with it so you've got a little kickstand at the back where you can actually rest the tablet on if you are using it as maybe like a, a party or something like that um, you've got USB SD card slots and auxiliary ports that's really good you can throw a USB pen drive in there with some music and you um, you know get the same effects you've got the uh, same music and stuff you've got the bass and treble controls on the back so you can control the bass and the treble separately because there's two separate independent speakers and it tells you some features there so you've got a little LED, LED display looking about 35 centimeter height 15 watt speaker output and you've got a 5 watt um, subwoofer bass output and it tells you um, you know pretty much what I mentioned before so I'm just going to crack this thing open um, So at the top, what you have here is a, oh that's a Site Tora WS alternative connection method. So that's basically telling you about the uh, Muso Player app. So it tells you how to set it up. You've got the Tora WX uh, user manual there. It's basically a quick guide to get you started and all that. Now this is the, uh, you got here, let's have a look. Bag. So here we've got this will be the kickstand at the back that you use to arrest your tablet or phone on, and you also get a auxiliary 3.5 mil jack lead. Um, here is actually a UK style plug because this is the UK version. So I'm just gonna pull all this polystyrene out. Okay, pull this. Box. There's nothing else in the bottom of there. Right, so it comes with this protective little bag on it. So we'll just take this off. And there it actually is. Now you do get um, uh, this is the UK style plug because it's the UK version. So you get that. Um, now on, on the front here, you've got your, uh, your speaker itself, which is like a paper cone foam side uh, edge speaker and uh, this will be a tweeter as well and um, then on the top of the actual um, speaker there you've got the psych logo division of some vision you've got your uh, reverse track and then you've got your forward skip track you've got your pause play button mode button you've got volume up and down and you've got a little rubbery groove here as well so that's where you'd actually put your phone so say if you want to use um, the the little uh, backrest here, so you can put your backrest and it should just go in there. So look. Yeah, so you put your backrest on there, then you can grab your phone and just rest it on there like that. So dead easy, you know, if you are playing it at a party or something like that. Just put that off for now. And then on your back here, oh sorry, your side here, you've got your SD card slot, USB, 
auxiliary, and then you've got two. Uh, so that'll be USB for music and um, charge. But on the side here, you've actually got two separate USBs that are just for charge. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then here, um, you've got your treble gauge, which is a nice solid feeling gauge. Um, and your base uh, button, uh, your base gauge as well, so you can do them separately. And you've got your power on off button and your, your woofer exhaust port there. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in, um, sync it up to my phone and the Muso player app, get that ready, and we'll see what they both sound like. Alright guys, so I've got the actual uh, speakers set up now already, um, so they've got the left uh, and the right and they're actually working independently at the moment, so the one the left uh, uh, speaker is separate to the right speaker. So this is what it'll be like with a single speaker, so if you've got one upstairs, maybe one downstairs, this is what they'll actually sound like. Uh, now I have got the uh, app open here, so I'll just show you this here. So the app itself is really cool, really easy to use. Um, it already comes with the Spotify, iHeartRadio and integration like that already built in. Um, and I've got your, you got your playlist and stuff already open there. And then here is your actually where your speakers are. So you've got I've renamed my speaker to uh, Torres left or Torres right, so I know which one's which. But you can remain rename it to anything you want, like maybe bathroom or living room or bedroom or whatever, wherever the speakers are. Um, now you can actually um, pre change it to uh, stereo or dedicated left or dedicated right mode simply by pressing this button here. So my top, uh, my left uh, speaker, I'm going to change to stereo mode. Right channel, stereo. So now it's in stereo mode, and I've got. I found the best results worked out when you got the trebles uh, set all on the actual speaker itself set all the way full and you've got the bass set uh, about halfway because anything past halfway goes a bit distorted um, but you know from the speaker size it's probably uh, granted really now I've got the volume on full I'm just going to play some music so you see what it sounds like this is one speaker <laughs> Alright, so that's one speaker. Like the, the good thing about these speakers is the sound quality is actually really pretty decent to be honest. Um, so now I'm going to switch it into stereo mode, which is actually really, really easy. Um, all you've got to do is press and hold your other speaker here. Oh, one second. Press and hold that. Oh, there we go. And then you just drag it on top of your left one. And then it'll just resync. Playback in sync. And now they are synchronized. So now, um, and then you have to change the channels again. So I'm just going to change this to left channel. So now that's the dedicated left speaker, and then I've got dedicated right speaker, and now it's in stereo mode. So I'm just going to um, go back to my track here, replay it. <laughs> Yes, it's pretty decent really, um, the sound quality is there. Uh, sometimes I've noticed that when you do switch between the uh, um, solo and um, you know uh, sync and and stereo mode with two speakers that it just take a little while to sync straight away like if you heard at the start of the song it was a bit out of sync but it sold itself pretty quickly to be honest so it's not a huge issue really um, I mean I suppose if you leave them in stereo mode all the time you're not going to have the issue um, but yeah it's uh, it's pretty decent uh, really easy to use really cool app really slick um, uh, I would recommend it. It is a good cheap alternative to something like a Sonos player or something like that. And you can change the volume of this on the... <laughs> Thank you.
So yeah, they're pretty cool. Um, now, negatives, I'll probably say that the bass could be a bit better and handle higher bass um, uh, a bit more. Um, that's why I say you, you shouldn't really dial it past the halfway point. Um, but you know, for the speaker size and the size of the unit, it's probably about right to be honest. And the price is really good as well. And um, they pretty much always are on some Vision products. Um, another, another a little niggle is I've got it on a wooden table here, and then when the bass is on and it's really loud, um, the the rubber feet on the bottom actually aren't quite sufficient enough to actually keep it in place. So you saw it like move like that, you know, throughout the video, and that's because it's sliding. But if you've got maybe like a cloth table or something like that, or you're not playing it as loud, then it's not that big of an issue. Really good idea for parties. I love the. Um, little uh, iPad stand or your iPhone stand or your phone stand and um, that works really well and you can press the button there on the top and just pause it and you've got you can change the uh, track and change the volume on there as well um, so that's pretty cool um, I would recommend it definitely have a worth uh, looking at if you're looking at a system like this it's a good cheap alternative stuff like a Sonos um, give us a um, comment on what you think um, like it if you liked it and um, don't forget to subscribe <laughs>